So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus unboxing the final one in the lineup. I just, I literally just got this one. They're coming kind of sporadically because you know, they've been selling very well, this Galaxy S22 series, but you can see right here, just like the other ones, we're gonna have the S22 Plus in the box, USB-C to USB-C, ejection pin, quick start guide, Samsung terms and conditions, UPC, IMEI down there. They don't really post the specs on the box anymore. They used to do that all the time. You'll see Samsung in black right there as well. So let's go ahead and get inside this box here. You'll just need to cut these tabs really quickly, but they're very easy to cut. That's just so it doesn't slide around in shipping. And you can see here is our Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus now. I did decide to go with the green because I loved it on the S22 Ultra and I just didn't want phantom black or white again. So let me go ahead and bring down the microphone so we can hear this plastic. Man, that is so satisfying. Wow, it just sounds so good. You know, it's like that once in a lifetime, you get that, that it's not once in a lifetime, but once in a phone's new life cycle, do you get that peel? And Samsung does put a little screen protector on the front of the device, but it's not like a true protector. It's just literally like a tab. So you don't like damage the screen. Ooh, you heard that one? That one sounded even better. So we'll go ahead and boot that up. And right away, first impressions are, you know, this is the larger S22. It's got more of the rounded corners, the more of the squared, edges versus something like the more squared off corners of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So let's go ahead now and go inside the box and you'll see that it says Samsung. It does have an injection SIM tool. Inside here, you're just gonna have your USB-C and the terms and conditions. That's it, no charger in the box. So if you don't get the charger on a promotion deal or something like that, you're gonna have to buy your own charger if you don't already have a USB-C charger which if you already had an Android phone, you might already have. So let me just get into this phone. It's just Samsung and Google stuff, and I'll be back with you in a second. All right, so we're now inside the Galaxy S22 Plus 5G. You can see punch hole display, gorgeous 6.6 .6 inch. We did go down 0.1 inch over the S21 Plus, so do keep that in mind, but man, it just feels like you're holding all display, minimal bezels, very, you know, they just look perfect all the way around the edges. Man, this is a gorgeous piece of hardware. You'll see right here on the sides, you do have yourselves more squared edges, but then it still wraps in corners, you know, at the bottom. Kind of like they're going a little bit more square closer to the Note style device or the S22 Ultra. And you're not gonna be confused whatsoever that this is the S device. It feels like the S device right here. And it has that nice matte color back right here, glass, so it doesn't doesn't get all fingerprinty or nothing like that. Super clean camera, it doesn't wrap into the body like the S21 Plus, just sits flush against the edge right there. Beautiful. You'll see over here at the bottom, you do have yourself the USB-C speaker as well as where you'll have your SIM card tool. No expandable memory here, so just SIM cards going in there. Overall, the weight though, this is one of the biggest areas. If you're not into a super heavy phone, this one is probably much more manageable. 195 grams, this is far lighter than the iPhone 13 Pro Max and far lighter than the S22 Ultra. So if you want a bigger phone and you want some lightweight, but you still want it premium, this is your move right here. So let's take a look at the wallpapers that come with this phone. I'm pretty sure it's the same as the other, and you'll be able to get all the same wallpaper setups as, as the Galaxy S22 Ultra, as the Galaxy S22, so pretty nice here. I definitely like the green goes with the green. Right here you have the green stars right there, so definitely a nice setup on that. Keep in mind too that the camera setup on here, let's go ahead and bring in a little sample thing. Hacky sack Samsung, we'll see right here. The camera setup is gonna be actually identical to the S22, not quite the S22 Ultra, so you're not gonna get that 100 times zoom. You'll get up to 30 on here. If we go to more, you'll have a nice suite of features in the camera, pro mode, pro video, the night mode, food. But remember, these days, you have to get the Ultra to go all out on Samsung. So these are gonna be really good setup, very clean, very good results, but they're not gonna be the top level you can get. That's gonna be reserved for the Ultra. But in video, at least you could still go 8K recording on here, which is pretty insane. 
resolution for a phone. Like it's probably way more than we need. Currently, most people are not posting no 8K videos. So definitely that's a very nice touch. And on the front, again, you're not gonna get the highest front facing camera resolution from Samsung, but it's still a very respectable camera on the front. I think most people are gonna be very happy with this setup overall. It'll do the job even at that 10 megapixel resolution on the front. Now, one thing to note is that this phone does give you that same 1750 nit display. Now you can actually hit that if you go ahead and go to the display, turn off the adaptive brightness, click the extra brightness and crank her up. You can see we just overexposed the camera. Samsung's warning me this is gonna drain your battery. You can see right there, you can see nothing because it's ridiculously bright. And Samsung listened, I talked about it before how you can't reach those usable levels. Well, they put a feature right there now in the form of extra brightness. You have to turn off adaptive to reach those high nits of brightness on this phone. Or alternatively, you can just take it out in the sunlight and you will see what this thing is capable of. An amazing phone in the sunlight. You're gonna get a four nanometer CPU in here as well. So you're gonna get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or you're gonna get the Exynos 2200, which a lot of people probably don't want. That's for Europe region, so do keep that in mind. Another thing about this one is you do get the ultrasonic under display fingerprint sensor. I'll set it up for the review, but you will have that capability for this phone as well. So overall, lightweight, bigger version of the S22, just a little bit bigger. If you want that bigger screen, you don't wanna go all out, you wanna save a little bit more over the ultra, and you want more of a lightweight S feeling phone, you don't want that square note feel, you don't care about the S Pen, this is the move right here. It's probably better looking for some and even more comfortable for a lot of people. And I think it's a great middle option. Kind of reminds me a lot of the iPhone 13 Pro for Apple's lineup. So that's all I got to say about this one for my first impressions. There's not much else to say. It's premium, it's Samsung, it's bigger. It's got beautiful cameras. You know, it's a little bit lighter. There are, there are some spec reductions from the S21 Plus, but I don't think that's gonna be, you know, a big deal because it's still overall gonna be a better phone. It has a newer processor. It has better software processing the camera there's gonna be like probably a little worse battery life because it's 4500 but we'll have to check that out but it's gonna still be a nice overall option here for you so let's go ahead and compare it to some phones here how about we'll begin with the s21 fe cheaper than this phone definitely only a hair bigger but way more premium feeling the S21 FE is a great option. However, it feels very much like a plasticky phone. It feels, it feels just like cheaper. So nice, similar looks, but cheaper feeling. So you want more premium, this is definitely way up there over that device. Now, Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now the Google Pixel 6 Pro is actually, you know, a cheaper phone, even though it's likely more premium than the S22 Plus. Not so much more, but it's it's up there. So the S22 Plus, a thousand bucks, you know, this phone is cheaper than that. And this, I would say, competes better with the S22 Ultra. So yeah, the Google Pixel 6 Pro is a good option still. Let's take a look at the S21 Plus, which I already talked about in this video. You can see it's a little bit bigger. Definitely, it looks a little bit skinnier. Just, I think it's an illusion. It just looks a little bit skinnier because they went with a more squared edge right there. The bottom about the same, the back about the same. It's a little taller. Overall, you know, if you have an S21 Plus, I would definitely not do the upgrade. Based on my first impressions, I just think it's pretty similar unless you're getting a whole bunch of money for your phone on a trade-in or something like that. You could see right here, if we take a look at the smaller S22, which I think is just gorgeous because they've compacted this premium feel, um, definitely looks exactly the same here, just smaller. So if you're looking for the smaller device, you'll definitely wanna go with the S22 over there now taking a look at the iphone 13 pro this phone right here definitely is the one i think competes very well with this phone because it's a little bit smaller than 13 pro max but definitely you know larger than the 13 pro at the same price a lot of people probably want to see this comparison i will go ahead and do this comparison i do think the s22 plus has a way to compete with the iphone 13 pro max too so we might do that but not quite as much that's more the s22 ultra and then We'll just take a look at the OnePlus 9 Pro right here. A little bit bigger than this phone as well. So 
Man, the S22 Plus, just slightly smaller, lighter than some of these big phones, this might be the sweet spot for a lot of people. They ju it just comes in a hair shorter, and it just comes in a hair lighter, and people might love this size. It's really, it really might be the sweet spot. So I, I recommend you go try this out, feel it out in store before you buy it. You might really enjoy this. So that's it for me on the Galaxy S22 Plus unboxing and first impressions. Awesome device. Let me know what you guys wanna see going forward for the S22 Plus is the last one we have on the S lineup for now. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.